the third phase. For a long time, I was owned. I was told what to do, what to think, what to like, what to feel. Some explicitly, some implicitly, some by innuendo, some by expectation, some by tradition. I was expected primarily to learn. That I tried. Some I did. Then came the time when I was supposed to be the owner. I was given some responsibilities, some deliverables, some people. I did some, some. I did not. Some ownerships I figured on experiencing I did not want. Many were unhappy with me for it was thought that what you own you must keep owning and multiplying. But I thought I can only own that which I wish to own. Perhaps I was wrong. Not just the owner but the owned and even the spectators must agree to the pattern of ownership. For the human world is a circus. Both the caged lion and the trainer exist by appointment to their majesties, the spectators. Well, I bumbled along. I did try to own more than I actually did. Some that I desired to own did not want to be owned. Some merely not by me. Eventually, my phase of ownership ended. Somewhat less successfully than the phase of ownership. Now, I was to become a trustee, one that derives no benefit, yet is responsible for some in order to benefit his charges or others. A trustee I must exist purely to serve, hold, manage or govern only to help. My loves and hates must now ebb away, my pleasures now irrelevant. I must now do 
only that which needs to be done not that which I desire done the laziness the boredom of owned ship no more no more the telegrams the anger of ownership Passion is no more the operative word. Winning in material. If I must still be, I must still be the boss. But not for me, not for mine. I must no more report to me, to my interests. The new boss is peace. That I must help every seeker get closer to. Can I transform myself so? Perhaps, yes. But then why am I still struggling with this phase of trusteeship? At this time, I must admit that I am performing much worse than I did in the first two phases of my life. I often confuse my role and try to become either the owner or the owned. The two roles which I have still not shaken off. I despair, fearful of the failure that is staring me in the face. Will I, can I, get my act in order when the habits of either complying unquestioningly or expecting the same of others perhaps die hard. The desire to draw benefit freely or the expectation to get something in return of my labors or love has so far refused to be banished from my heart. My loves, my passions still rule. My fears, my anger still visit me painfully often. Consequently, I know no peace and struggle with myself daily every minute of the day. However, I tell myself, these are early days and I can yet pull myself up from my bootstraps.
I await the day. I await the day eagerly, impatiently. For if successful, I shall live to fight another day. My greatest adversary, myself. The day I decide to enter the final phase of the life that has been given me. The day I will cease to be me. The day I will have no mine. The day I become a witness. <laughs>